Hello, Steve White, Steve Arts 89. Uh, the final trailer, uh, two and a half minute trailer for The Dark Crystal finally dropped. So this is the last trailer we get before uh, I head into two weeks. In two weeks, uh, August 30th, finally it's going to appear on Netflix. And it looks pretty amazing. Much like the other trailer, I was impressed. I was very excited to see this world, to be back in this world, to see it recreated. Um, now it's obvious, now the only real issue with this show, or issue there really could be with this show, basically it's a prequel and they go back to seeing the crystal being corrupted by the Skeksis and the, um, the darkening happening and, and just going into all that in the detail because we know how it ends up in the dark crystal. So that's interesting and they can't really go wrong with that, we know where it's going to go. Um, the original series, the original movie was very diverse it had female males and and like someone else was pointing out um McMahon was pointing out they were different and the differences they needed each other because the differences helped and that is really what society diversity humanity male female it just, it just it just was perfect in that it just simply captured that and it's something i didn't really think about when i was watching it but and that's something that they can't really screw up um if they emphasise the women more or something, if, if they do try and, you know, um, put some gender politics in there, it's not really going to make much of a difference. It was never like a, a, a patriarchal, het heterosexual, straight, masculine um, movie or franchise. So they can't, I can't see how they can screw it up. So it looks pretty good on every level. The visuals, the themes, um, just, just everything looks great. Um, and... The only real issue is, is it CGI or is it puppetry? Now you can see some shots, some scenes are clearly actual puppets in actual sets, but there are other scenes where it's clearly CGI characters. There's, there's shots of um, Jem like running and jumping out at like a window over a giant um, like environment. And clearly that is a CGI character running and jumping. Now, whether they've actually gotten puppets and puppeteered them in front of CGI, um, in front of blue screens, and then created CGI environments that they're in, so still part of that image is still a real puppet. Or whether they've just created realistic CGI puppets and CGI versions of the puppets that they are using, as well as the actual puppets, um, I'm fine, it looks amazing, I'm not bothered, but I can see some people saying, it's not pure, it's not real puppetry, <laughs> I can see a bit of that happening. I've already seen a little bit of it, and it's like, oh, fuck's sakes, just calm down. It looks gorgeous. They look like the original characters. It looks the same. The only reason why they used puppets was because they didn't have CGI. Because <laughs> actual animation, you know, wouldn't have worked either. They they created puppets. That was the look. That was what they did in the 80s. They can recreate that look and style and expand it with CGI. That's the whole point of technology and growth in the future and development and progress. I'm happy for them to use CGI to augment or, or just fucking just recreate the, the environment. I'm fine with it, so long as the heart is there, so long as they look like puppets, so long as you get that feel that they're real beings, and it's not just a cartoon. Now, there were a few shots that looked very CGI, actually, now I think about it, just a couple, like the one of the running, because mentally you know that's not real. Whereas, that's the amazing thing about puppetry, oh god, I'm just making their point. The thing about puppetry is you know it's real. Even if you know it's fake and it's not real, you know it's an actual physical being in a sense that it's created and it's being puppeteered. Whereas CGI, you kind of know it's animated. So there's a couple of shots where you just know it's animation because the motion, the complexity is too much for puppetry. And if they have developed some amazing level of puppetry and just augmented it a little bit with CGI, then that's amazing in itself. But I suspect they're just lying when they said, no, it's all, it's all practical puppets. No, it's not. But you don't, it doesn't have to be. You don't need to lie. It doesn't have to be. You're using CGI and puppets or C puppets augmented with CGI. That's fine. They've been doing it with the Muppets for years. Kermit's, Kermit's walking around when we know he's got a hand up his butt. <laughs> it's, obviously, it's, it's not the real puppet. It's a CGI. It's, it's augmented with CGI. They've removed the person or they've just put him in front. Blah, blah, blah. They need to calm down. It's the only issue. Everything else looks great. I'm very happy. Very excited, goose pimples, although I was already thinking about what I was going to say about about um, the, those couple of shots, so it pulled me out a little bit, and I guess that is the problem, it does could possibly pull you out, like I said, if it looks too CGI and you know mentally that that's not a puppet, it's not actually a real element, 
but it was mostly because I was thinking about, oh, what am I going to say in this video? I have to make a video because I love this, sh love it, and it obviously, as much as you see in two and a half minutes, I still don't know all the details of the story. I can't give you any guys any secrets or anything other than what I've got from a few little articles and stuff um, that we know it's a prequel. They're going to go through that whole history. We're going to see a battle. We're going to see. Oh, I just realised how sad they are going to resist, but then they're not going to succeed. Um, now, whether this is done in waves and we have like different different stages of the, the the battle and the resistance and maybe the first couple maybe originally the resistance actually works and they're successful and then it's just the end they fail or whether it's I'm not sure how they're going to pace it out but it looks great I'm just going to leave it here I just wanted to say it's out it looks gorgeous uh, it's definitely um, more CGI than I thought it was going to be but I don't have a problem with that so long as it looks real and I've only seen really one shot where it's obvious it's CGI when the character is running from a dark environment into a light environment and jumping out of um, a window or a cave and he's basically falling through the sky and it's all twisting to it and it's that that's the problem with CGI they go so far to give you these shots and angles that you couldn't get with real live action and that's the point you couldn't get that real live action that's why you know oh that's that's computer that's fake and it pulls you out so there was one shot so there could be an element of it but I don't know if the world they create in the rest of the series the rest of the episode the rest of whatever you know if that makes up for the fact that there's a few shots which are obviously CGI because most of it looked real and looked amazing and it looked like they've just expanded. We've got a, cav a cavernous, cavernous dark um, environment that looks a little bit um, Avatar. We've got so many more creatures and of course the battles, the battle scenes which involves not just um, the girlflings, there's different creatures, new creatures and all of this is very complicated and it all looks really very real and very beautiful and they're expanding on the universe and I guess they couldn't do that if they stuck purely to puppetry so I guess it can't be 100% perfect we're going to lose a little there's going to be something a little bit off there'll be one or two shots that pull you out because of CGI but the rest they're just going to make expand on the puppetry and make it amazing so I think it's going to be a 99% hit <laughs> I think they're going to pretty much I'm pretty happy with it this is that one little concern of will they go too far with CGI will they be able to rein it in and keep it where it's just supplementing and um, enhancing the puppetry, or are they going to let it take over? So I guess I have that little bit of doubt. But um, overall, the preview looks great. I'm very excited. I can't wait. It's only two weeks away. Um, I don't know if they're going to drop the whole series or if they're going to do a week to week, but um, either way, I'm going to be watching it. So um, thanks for watching. Feel free to uh, like and subscribe and comment. I want to know what everyone else thinks. That's why I'm going to be watching everyone else's videos, but it'd be nice to have my own comments. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.